。あやむあーゆっくりレイム。あやむあーゆっくりマリサ。Today I will explain SCP again.Please listen to me today as usual, radio style.So. ゆっくりしていってね。Item hashtag SCP-062 Object class Euclid Special containment procedures SCP-062 is stored in a dedicated containment cell at site under clean room conditions. Any experimentation on SCP-062 must receive prior permission from at least two, two, Level 3 personnel, and must only be performed with independent power sources. SCP 062 must never be attached to an external network, and all data extracted from SCP 062 is to be stored on external non volatile media until analyzed. Description SCP 062 appears to be an unbranded personal desktop computer housed in an aluminum case of indeterminate manufacture. SCP 062 is unusually heavy at approximately 24 kilograms and lacks manufacturing or branding labels of any kind. The words information is freedom, sick, were found scratched into the casing near the back. Apparently, with a key or similar object. Inspection of its interior has revealed that SCP 062 is empty except for a blank circuit board in place of where the motherboard of a standard personal computer would be. SCP 062 will not function unless the case is completely sealed, and attempts to open the case while it is operating cause it to shut down immediately. Despite this, SCP 062 operates as expected for a normal desktop computer with the exception that its performance, operating system, contained data, and language appears to be different upon every activation. SCP 062 was discovered in the basement of the University of Computer Science Laboratory by Redactor. An embedded Foundation agent seized the object and brought it to site, where it has since been contained. Addendum 062 001 List of Notable Activation Results Date slash slash Description SCP 062 appeared to be running Windows XP in Catalan. Analysis of contained data showed financial records for the redacted. Banking firm in France for the period of May 1963 to April 1987. These records are inconsistent with actual bank records procured by undercover foundation agents. Date slash slash description SCP 062 appeared to be running Debian Linux in Latin. Contained data consisted of a library of audio recordings of over choral songs and hymns, of which are not found in any known collection or have never been performed. Date slash slash description SCP 062 appeared to be running a version of Solaris in Portuguese. Contained data consisted of promotional and marketing material for Redactor. Which appears to be a commercial space flight corporation that does not exist. Date slash slash description SCP 062 appeared to be running an unknown operating system visually similar to OS slash 2 with an unknown language, later identified to have strong similarities to that of the Voynich manuscript. Attempts at deciphering the contained data are ongoing. Date slash slash description SCP 062 appeared to be running redacted in French. Contained data confirmed to be that of a standard Foundation workstation, though the site indicated by its location data site does not exist. 
Investigation is ongoing. Date, slash slash description, SCP-062 appeared to be running Apple OS X in what appears to be a Cadian cuneiform script. Contained data appears to be composed mainly of religious text and descriptions of ritual and ceremonial procedures. Date, slash slash description, redacted. Investigation is ongoing as to how the virus managed to compromise three workstations and one file server before SCP-062 was forcibly shut down. All affected workstations have been isolated. Item hashtag SCP-063 Object class Safe Special Containment Procedures SCP-063 is to be kept at all times within Dr. S. Personal Bathroom, located within the personnel quarters upon Site-19. Object is to be used as designed at least once in a 24-24 hour period or the object will begin to emit an unknown specialized radiation that results in objects and material within a zero. 6 meters, 2 feet, radius being slowly warped and eventually disintegrating into a fine dust. Radiation's effect on living test subjects has not been monitored. Description, SCP-063 appears to be an average, pale blue toothbrush. Stenciled along the side of the object are the words, the world's best toothbrush, sit. The word toothbrush is spelled incorrectly, though whether this was accidental or a purposeful action by the creators of the object is unknown. SCP-063 displays the ability to effortlessly cleave through any and all dead or inorganic matter, the focal point of this ability being the bristles. However, matter touched by the bristles is not separated, such as by way of a knife, but completely expunged from existence, leaving no trace whatsoever. This mode of operation is reminiscent of SCP-2207, suggesting the two anomalies share a connection or were created by the same entity or entities. Additionally, subjects who have used SCP-063 have claimed that the experience left their teeth feeling remarkably clean. In spite of its extraordinary abilities, lab analysis has discerned that SCP-063 is completely made of common plastic. Addendum, SCP-063 was originally found in St. Petersburg, on the person of, a thief working in the area using SCP-063's abilities to crack safes. When questioned about the object, subject professed ignorance, claiming that he simply found the object one day. Questioning of the subject continued until he took his own life. His reason for doing this is, as of yet, unknown. What did you think? This time SCP still had very interesting performance and functions. To humans, any SCP is dangerous and can be a threat. Please handle SCPs with care in case they appear around you. Please do not let them enter your rooms. And above all, please do not ever hurt SCP. We will do our best to prevent it. I have a great time. Good to hear. I will continue to introduce SCP and UMA to you and look forward to working with you for many years to come. Good night.